Hi, this is lesson 13 homework for module 5 of grade 2. Get your name on here first. We're going to be doing lots of vertical subtraction and mental subtraction. And we're going to be checking work with addition. So it's a lot of a lot of math to do. You'll never think of putting your name on it after you started it. So get it done first. Solve using mental math. 9 minus 5. Okay, so that's 4. So 9 tenths minus 5 tenths is 4 tenths. And we have the same 90 minus 50 here. So that's 100. We're going to have 40 left from that, but we're still going to have that 100. So it's 140. Then seeing the 190 minus 49. Well, here we subtracted 50, and we had 140. So here, if we subtract one less, we should have one more left. 141. Row B, 7 minus 4 is 3, so 70 minus 40 is 30. Here's 70 minus 40 again, but now we have 300, so it's 330. And here again, we've got 40, and there's 30. So for subtracting one less, we should have one more left behind. So that's going to be 331. And now we're solving using mental math or vertical form with place, place value disks. And check your work using addition. So all we really have to show here is vertical form. And just like we have in our example right here, vertical form. And then for the subtraction and then for the addition, we're going to check it by adding our subtrahend and our difference back together to make the total to make the uh, menu end I'm sorry so think about this as a number bond and I'm only just going to do it for just this one here just for this example if this were in a number bond we would have 153 and the parts are 31 and 122. So the thinking is that if you take 153 apart into these two pieces, you should be able to take the two pieces and put them back together again and get the whole. So that's how you check it with addition. You take the two parts, you put them together, see if you get the same whole back again. And if that all works and you get the same number, then you did everything right. So 153 minus 38. And if you look at these numbers too, this is going to, since I'm subtracting seven more, I should have seven less for my difference. So it should be close to 122. All right, now three minus eight, I don't have enough. First thing I'm going to do, right, we've been circling our, we're still doing this, making our little magnifying glass to so make sure our menu end stays our menu end. 3 minus 8. We can't do that, so we have to unbundle a 10. 4 10s left. That means we'll have 13 ones. And we have enough 10s, so we can go. 13 minus 8 is 5. And 4 minus 3 is 1 10 left. And that 100 we get to keep, 115. So if we add this 115, to 38 right because the, these are the these are the parts and the menu end is the whole so we're going to add the parts back together 5 plus 8 is that's one digits first right vertical math 5 plus 8 is 13 there's our 10 I composed and 1 plus 3 is 4 1 more is 5 and there's our 100 there's our 153 we got our menu end back again so everything's good 362 minus 49. Uh, here's our menu end. That's what we have. Don't So we don't switch it with what we're taking. We can't subtract up and say 9 minus 2. Because we don't have 9. We're subtracting 9. We can't change that. So it's 2 minus 9, which we can't do. 
because we need more ones. So I'm going to decompose a 10. That gives me 10 more ones. 10 plus 2 is 12. And now we can subtract. We have enough 10s and we have enough 1s. So 12 minus 9 is 3. 5 minus 4 is 1. And we get to keep the 300s. Let's add our subtrahend, 49, and our difference back together. Let's see if we get our menu end. 9 plus, well, one's digits first, right? 9 plus 3, that's 12. I had to compose a 10 there. 4 plus 1 plus 1, that's our 10's digits. 6 and 300's. 362, that was our menu end. So that's all good. 485 minus 177. If I'm rushing this and you're having a hard time keeping up, just pause it. It's a video. Pause it, go back over a part. If, uh, if I went too fast and watch it again, no one's going to know how many times you had to do it. Uh, let's circle our menu end. And we can see right away there's not enough ones. I have to subtract seven ones. I only have five. So I have to decompose a ten. Seven tens left when I do that. And now I have 15 ones, because it's 10 plus the 5 I already had. 15 minus 7 is 8. 7 minus 7 is 0. And 4 minus 1 is 3. Now let's take our subtrahend, 177. That's the number we subtract. Add it to the difference, which is what was left after we subtracted. And add our ones digits first. 7 plus 8, that's 15. Got to compose a 10 here. 7 plus 0 plus 1, adding our 10's digits, gets us 8. And then 1 plus 3 is 4, our 100's, 485. And that's, the, that's what we started with. So the parts went back together again. And now it's just still more of the same. 753 minus 290. Now mentally this would be easier to subtract, uh, but... You know, here's just one of those cases where we're practicing vertical math. I can look at this and say that 290, it's almost 300. So if I, I could call it 763 minus 300, and I'd have 463. Let's see if that's how it works out. Start with our ones digits first. We have enough ones. We don't have to decompose any tens. I look at our tens, right? We're looking at our menu end here. So making sure our menu end, our digits are big enough here. 5 minus 9. Uh, we can't do that, so we have to decompose 100. 600 is left when we do that. And now we're going to have 15 tens. And now we have enough tens. We have enough everything. So going back to the ones digits, 3 minus 0 is 3. 15 minus 9 is 6. And 6 minus 2 is 4. And now we'll take our subtrahend, 290. And our difference, 463, add those back together. One's digits first, 0 plus 3 is 3, 9 plus 6 are tens digits, that's 15, got to compose 100 here. And 2 plus 4 is 6 and 1 more is 7, 753, that's the menu end that we started with, so we're all good. 567 minus 290. Notice we're subtracting 290 again. This another one. Here's another example. This would be easier to do mentally, but we are practicing the vertical method. Uh, looking at our menu end first, making sure we have enough ones and tens. We have enough ones, but we don't have enough tens, so we have to decompose 100. Four. And now that's 10 more tens plus the six we already have makes 16. Now, subtracting, starting from our 1's digits, 7 minus 0 is 7. 16 minus 9 is also 7. And 4 minus 2 hundreds, that's 200 left. So take that difference, add it to our subtrahend, 290. 290. Now, starting with the 1's digits, 7 plus 0 is 7. 7 plus 9 tens that's 16 tens 
that's a hundred with six tens left behind. And looking at our hundreds, it's two plus two is four. One more is five. Five hundred sixty-seven. That's what we started with. So everything's good there. Eight hundred seventy-three minus four hundred twenty-eight. Look at our menu end first. Make sure all the digits are right. Three minus eight. Oh, we're going to have to decompose a ten. Six tens left there. That makes 13. Some people just write, jam a little 1 in there to make it look like a 13. That's fine. 13 minus 8 is, we have enough, did, yeah, okay, we have enough 1s, we have enough 10s, everything's good. 13 minus 8 is 5. 6 minus 2 is 4. And 8 minus 4 is 4 hundredths. And now we can add our difference to our subtrahend. Starting with the ones digits, five plus eight is 13. I gotta compose a 10. There it goes. Four plus two is six, plus that one more 10 is seven. And then four hundreds plus four hundreds, that's eight hundreds, 873. That's what we started with. It's all good so far. 817 minus 565. Looking at our menu end here, we can see we have enough ones but we don't have enough tens, so we have to decompose a hundred. We'll have seven hundreds left. And that's going to give us eleven. Ten, ten more tens, but we have one already, so it's eleven tens we have now. And now we have enough ones, we have enough tens, we can subtract. Seven minus five in our ones digits, that's two. Eleven minus six, that's five tens left. And seven hundreds minus five hundreds, that's two hundreds left. We'll add our difference, 252, back with our subtrahend, 565, starting with the ones digits first, 2 plus 5, 7, 5 plus 6 is 11, so I'm going to compose 100, and I'll have a 10 left behind, and 2 plus 5 in our hundreds is 7 plus 1 more, 817, so far so good. 973 minus 681. Look at our menu end first. Make sure we have enough ones and enough tens. 3 minus 1, that's good. We don't have to decompose a 10. 7 minus 8, not enough. We're going to decompose one of those hundreds. We'll have eight hundreds left. 10 more tens means now we're going to have 17 tens. And now we can subtract. Looking at our ones digits, 3 minus 1 is 2, 17 minus 8 is 9, and 8 minus 6 is 2. We'll add that, 292, to our subtrahend, 681. Starting with the ones digits first, 2 plus 1 is 3, 9 plus 8 is 17. i got to compose 100, and I'll have that 17, I'll have that 7 tens left. And now add the hundreds. Two plus six is eight, and one more is nine. And that's what I started with. Going on to J, 748 minus 239. Take a good look at this menu end. Make sure we have enough ones. We don't. So we've got to decompose a ten. Three tens left. So now we're going to have 18 ones. We have enough tens, and we have, we're good to go. We're ready to subtract. 18 minus 9 is not 9. 3 minus 3 is 0. 7 minus 2 is 5. Add the parts back together. Our difference, 509, plus our subtrahend, 239. Starting with the ones digits first, as always, 9 plus 9 is 18. Got to compose a 10. We'll have 8 ones left behind. And then I'm looking at our tens digits. 0 plus 3, that's just 3, plus 1 more is 4. And 5 plus 2 is 7 for our hundreds digit. And now we're looking at complete the number sentence modeled by place value disks. So we see what's left. At the 215 but we need to know what we started with 
What's our menu end? And our subtrahend, what do we cross out? So let's look at what got crossed out. Right, there's one, two, there's three hundreds crossed out. And two tens are crossed out. And how many ones? Nine ones. Right, because this is this is a ten frame here with one left behind, so the nine are crossed out. So 329 is what got crossed out. That's our that's what was subtracted. And then what did we start with? Well, these, all these ones here are just a decomposed 10. So if we're trying to figure out what we started with, let's just kind of ignore those and look at what we started with, because this should be what we started with before we decomposed or subtracted anything. And we'll just count all the stuff that's there, um, including the ones that are crossed out. So we started with 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hundreds. One, two, three tens, and one, two, three, four ones. And we could check this just to make sure we get the 215. It doesn't say to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. Uh, we don't have enough ones, so we have to unbundle. A 10, and that gives us 14 minus 9 is 5, 2 minus 2 is 0, and 5 minus 3 is 2. So something didn't work right here. Let's see what happened. Oh, you know what? That's what happened. I see it now. This 10 here wasn't subtracted. It was decomposed. So see how it's slashed instead of got a, like a, it's got a slash through it instead of a line like this. So that, um, so we have to count that. We can't count that as one of the 10s that were subtracted. So, that means we only subtracted one ten. Let's let me erase, clean this up so we can see it. So the this is that that was subtracted, but this one wasn't. So it's only one ten that got subtracted. So uh, there. And if I change that in my if I change my subtrahend in my model here I can change my difference but the menu end doesn't change 2 minus 1 I get the 215 and it works out